Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and we are going for round two of the I'm filming two in one day. Da, 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 da. Today, as I'm sure you guessed by the title, it is a little bit all about Jeffree Star and like my experience with the company, the products, the new release, which can I just say? No, no, no. Yes, we will be getting into that. Whew, child. It is warm all up in this place because I'm excited. So, we're gonna start with um, kind of what I've tried, what I tried before the 2017 Chrome Collection release, which again, this is the Lipstick Vault for 2017. I grabbed that, I grabbed both of the new highlighters and all three of the new Velour Liquid Lip Scrubs. We will get into that in a second. Before we go there, I want to talk about my first experience. Now, this release that I just showed you was my second purchase from this company. My first one, I had been like eyeing up some Jeffree Star and I always get nervous when I'm just like, eh. You know, like when, when YouTubers put their face on products I'm just like oh uh, should I be nervous like is it gonna be crap I don't know and I had like a lot of apprehension about it and then I kind of looked into the brand a little bit and I realized you know this wasn't something that he just put his face on Jeffree Star himself like actually did develop these formulas his liquid lipsticks ended up being one of the best things I ever tried I could not recommend them more I'm obsessed with his liquid lipstick so I'm gonna start with my first purchase now I'm gonna go through the part of it that I experienced I know I'm not gonna say that all of Jeffree Star cosmetics um like experiences or customer service experiences or anything like that are what I experienced. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just because I live so far away from like all the cool cities in the United States. I don't know. Um, but my first experience was not great. Um, I will tell you why. I had said previously that I had been like, you know, really looking into Jeffree Star Cosmetics, seeing what I liked. I was on the website. I had a bunch of stuff in my cart and then something caught my eye and it was a gorgeous, I think they call it the Tiffany Blue hoodie, I want to say. I, had, I saw this Tiffany Blue hoodie and I was just like, oh my God, I have to have this hoodie. Well, I'm a, I'm a bigger, you know, I'm a bigger girl. I got some, some wide looking curves on me and I was like, you know, maybe it would be best to send customer service an email, get a size chart because I couldn't find one on the website and make sure I order the right size because I don't want to be stuck like paying return shipping and like all this other this mess so I did and this was weeks before I ever purchased my order um, I sent them one the email requesting a size chart they sent it back and said you know here's your size chart yada yada I said thank you so much oh my god these sizes look perfect I'll order an extra large which it was marked as a unisex extra large which is about perfect for like my size and I was like perfect measured the bus looked great everything so come Memorial Day weekend Jeffree Star put out that they were having this huge sale and I was like Woo! Praise be to the God because I'm excited. So I was so excited. I waited up and I was like, I had my order like all in my car. I refreshed it. The sales hit. Boom. I ordered it. We're done. I'm living my life, right? Well, not so much. Okay. So three weeks go by and I'm like, girl, shouldn't I have gotten some kind of an order? And let me just say, like, I realize that when there are sales that happen on websites, like big sales and that kind of thing, I know that it slows down like packaging and shipping. And I can understand like a two to three ish delay in shipping and, and how all that works. I can totally understand that because I mean, it makes sense when we're busy and it's our busy season with my business, like things take longer to get done. I totally understand that. And I don't have any problem with that. Now, what I do take issue with though is how long? I actually tweeted <laughs> Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I was like, um, should I be nervous that it's been over three weeks that I haven't seen my order? Like, sh I mean, come on, like, can you give me something? Well, then my box arrives and I will give them props, by the way, for packaging. All of their stuff is packaged individually like this. It comes in, the, the item is wrapped in bubble wrap and then in like this adorable tissue paper sealed with the Jeffree Star little logos. Super cute packaging, very protected packaging, which I live for. Give them that 100%. So my package gets here and I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know, this looks a little bit strange. And I actually saved it. I'm not going to show it on camera, obviously, because it's got my address on it. Girl, we don't want none of them creepy stocky people. But on my box, I don't know what you can see and what you can't see, but it was shipped three day mail. Okay. Three day mail. And it even says up here, purchased from stamps.com on 6-7 of 2017. So Memorial Day was May 29th, which means I made my purchase Saturday morning on May 27th, okay? So I understand it not shipping for the weekend or anything like that, 
but that means that my box, like my label wasn't even printed, wasn't even printed for 10 days after I purchased my items, okay? So that's like a week and a half, that's, that's a long time to not even print the label, right? So then I'm like trying to track it and I just went through and I like double checked all of this. Purchased it on the 27th, shipping label, not printed until, so 527, I purchase. Six to seven, 10 days later, shipping label is created. Not delivered, and I double checked the delivery date on the website, not delivered until June 19th. Now, I don't know, you know, mathematicians or nothing, but like the 7th to the 19th is what, 12 days? I'm sorry, 10 days to get it shipped. Yes, to get the shipping label printed. 12 days to get it to me, and um, priority three three day mail. So priority three day mail. I thought to myself, when I got this box on June 19th and the label says six, seven, I'm like, did you just like stack all these in a corner and someone just didn't have time to go to the post office or like something happened there where my package was like severely delayed. Okay. That's where I'm going with this. So I opened my package and now, now that we're going to be done with the shipping part of this story. So I get my package, I open it up and I'm just like so excited. I don't even care at this point because I'm like, my hoodie is here. Like, yes, I ordered a ton of beauty products. I ordered a bunch of lipsticks and a bunch of, oh, to say that I'm a fan of Jeffree Star highlights, I don't think that you understand like the level of happiness that they bring me, okay? So it's not like I'm just saying all this because I'm pissed off and I hate the brand because child, that is not the case. But I get it open and I'm like, I see my hoodie. I see the wrapper. I'm... Whew, I'm living for the moment. I take it out. I go to put it on and it's like, ah, I can't. Mm -mm. oh, I take it off and I'm like, maybe they sent me the wrong size. Nope. Tag says extra large. I take out a measuring tape and I measure the bust. The bust on the one that they sent me, according to the size chart that I was sent by the customer service, it was literally a size small on the, the chart. So... I looked at this chart, ordered an extra large. So I go on and I measure and I'm like, okay, this is not working. So I contact customer service and I'm livid because now I have waited over three weeks <laughs> for this to get here. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, not only did it arrive really, really late, but I, I emailed you guys to make sure I ordered the correct size. This isn't just like I was a bonehead and didn't take this into kids account. Like, I know I'm big, okay? I took into account my, my bigness before I purchased my situation here. So they send me back an email and they're like, da, 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 da. and it was just always like really short, snippy little like things. And I was like, you know what? Look, I just want you to send me the return label because had this been my fault, I would totally understand that I need to send it back on my dime. But if you could just send me the postage, that would be great. And I will send it back to you. And like, it's, it's all good. Like just, I just, <laughs> I just want this to get out of my face. Cause quite frankly, now I'm depressed because it was so cute. You guys, like it's, it, and it was so cute. And then I look at the hoodie after I couldn't get it on. And I'm like, wait a second. What the hell? Like, there's no tag on this. Because I was going to double... You know how, like, if you go to the store, sometimes, like, the wrong size will be on the wrong hanger or something? So I thought, well, maybe it, like, says extra large in the back, but maybe the tag will be different. There's no tag. And I'm like, okay. So then I flip it inside out, and I'm looking at, like, the inside lining where it should be, like, fleece and soft and happy. And it's, like, all pilled, and it looks like it's been worn before. Now, okay, so now it's the wrong size. There's no tag. It looks like it's when worn or washed on the inside. It's got like those little pilly type situations and it feels rough on the outside. Like, I'm just like, what is going on? And like, there were threads that were like kind of sticking out and I'm like, I feel like this is not brand new. I feel like someone was like, shit, we're out of extra large. Hold on. And they took a small, cut the tag out, sew it and sewed in an extra large, grabbed it out the closet and sent it to me. That Maybe that's what took so long. I don't know. But that is kind of what it seemed like. And obviously that's a bit dramatic. Like, I don't mean that. Calm down. Calm down, haters. But I was just really, really frustrated. So like that whole situation comes and goes and I'm just like, whatever. Like, let it go. You love the products, um, which I will get into here in a second. So... The Chrome collection is due to be released, and I'm just like, sweet baby Jesus, we will put everything aside because we love the liquid lipsticks. We love lipsticks. I love his lipsticks. I can't say that enough. His highlighter, everything. It's genius. So, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna order. I think to myself, this is quick thinking on my part, right? I'm thinking, I don't want to have to be waiting over three weeks again 
So to like alleviate that situation, I go on the website, it's the release of the vault. I'm so excited. The website is swamped with people, obviously, to get the vault. They wanna make sure that they get their hands on this gorgeous situation, which who can blame them? So I'm like, I don't wanna wait three weeks again. I'm gonna pay express shipping, like quick, get me the hell moving shipping, okay? So I pay, I think it was like $15, $14.77, it was right around $15. I will pay to have my, my stuff happen quicker, gladly. Whew. So I pay it. Couple problems. One, I look at my total, I look at the screen, everything's fine. I click submit. All of a sudden my total went up and I was like, maybe it added shipping, maybe, okay, it went up by quite a bit, but okay. So I look. And I'm like, wait a second, I didn't order two of that skin frost. Where did that come from? So I contact customer service and I'm like, look, I know like when there's a release, I know that things get super, super crazy. Like maybe the website glitched, I don't know what, but it says, and this was like literally two minutes after I clicked the button and realized what had happened, I contacted customer service and told them so that hopefully they could fix it prior to shipping my order. Well, like that's gonna happen because apparently no one answers the emails or something, I don't know. So my order ships, like literally I purchased this on like a Saturday or a Sunday morning. It like shows shipped the next day. And I was like, oh, sweet baby Jesus, life is going well. Okay, we can deal with the return of the extra skin frost later, which I did receive. These are both colors. This one I have left wrapped, like that way they will hopefully take it back and give me my money back for something I did not purchase. And I'm like the first person, by the way, to admit, if I accidentally double click or if I accidentally do something, I'm like, hey y'all, I screwed up, will you please help me? I am the first person to admit that. That is definitely not what happened here. It was a glitch, but I understand. I understand that things happen. I tried to be so understanding through this whole process until my second order comes around. Like I said, I paid extra, all that. I'm gonna pull up again. I wanna make sure that I have the exact shipping details. Yes, so I get the order confirmation, which I purchased this. It released at one o'clock my time, one o'clock my time on June 24th. So at 1.05, is when I completed my purchase. I moved, I moved pretty quick, guys. There was a little bit of a delay with my internet or it would have been done sooner, okay? This girl does not play. So I get my shipping confirmation the next day, June 25th, I get the email for my shipping confirmation at 11.22 a.m. And I'm like, sweet, that's awesome. It's a Sunday, it'll go out Monday morning. Oh my God, life is great. I'm super, super excited, right? Who wouldn't be excited? Until I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, why can't I, like my, my shipping information isn't updating. Like I check Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, nothing is getting updated. Keeping in mind that according to this, it was shipped on June 25th, the day after I ordered it or the, you know, the Monday it would have went, that following Monday it would have went in the mail. And I'm like, where is this? So I'm looking at the actual shipment history and it says that my or my label was created on 625, but my actual package did not arrive at a FedEx location for five days. So it went another five days, which means it went all the way through the week without ever making its way toward me after I had paid for it to get here quicker. And then now the weekend's here, so we all know it's not gonna move on over the weekend. So it did not depart the FedEx location until Saturday, number or seven one, which was on a Saturday. That was when it finally left FedEx and began its transit to me. I don't know why my camera's blinking. I'm not sure. But anyways, I don't know what's going on. But I do know that this whole story has taken way too long. And once it shipped on the first, it did take an additional six days to get to me. So I, I did not receive this until seven six, so an additional five days. And I'm looking at the box yet again, right? You know, looking at the box, the, the tea, the real tea here is in the shipping labels. So this one was shipped with FedEx. It just says FedEx ground. I don't want to show you my friggin' address, but it says FedEx ground on it. And I'm like, I was shipped FedEx ground after I paid more. Like, what do I got to do to get my orders on time? Don't get me wrong is, I mean, less than three weeks. Cool. But is that really the standard we're trying to beat? I don't know. I'm gonna try and trim all of this down, by the way, so that it's like a little bit less, but seriously, guys, I think the moral of my story here is the cosmetics are worth it, but like, oh, it is so frustrating. And like, if anybody out there, like Jeffree Star, <laughs> I know that you probably would never find my videos, but if Jeffree Star ends up watching this or any of like his, like, I don't know, customer service team or whatever, I, 
It's been so long since I ordered that hoodie and I just, two days ago, just got the refund started to process for that hoodie. Like that's how long it takes to go through customer service. And all I can say is that from like the consumer standpoint, you put out a, a, an amazing product, which we will talk about now, but I'm just like, why? Like why make your customers go through so much like I feel like I had to do so much running around and screwing around and, and trying to make the situation work when when I'm ordering such a large amount of stuff. I mean, should I really be put through that as a customer? I don't know if it's intentional. I don't know if it's just because like the brand is so successful, which is amazing, but I don't I don't know where like customer service fits into this whole whole mess of situation. <laughs>